In the last video, we introduced the wave equation for matter waves, and which is called the Schrodinger equation. In this video, we're going to use the form called the time-independent Schrodinger equation that we mentioned in the last video to, to solve for the wave functions inside a certain, a certain, a certain situation. And that situation is, is a problem called a particle in a box, and it's and it's usually the first the first problem someone someone will make you do if you ever take a quantum mechanics course. So what we have here is is a particle that's free to move in one dimension, it can move to the left or to the right, just in this one x dimension, and it it can only exist between between x equals zero and x equals l, and the way that we say that physically is we say that the the potential energy inside the well inside the box or sometimes it's called the a potential well and so that's why if I if I use the word well that's just another name for the box that that people use so I'm I might say well and all I mean all I'm referring to is the box but we say that by how we say that there's a box here is that the potential energy inside the box is zero or, or some constant and, and as is always the case with energy we can pick we can pick some constant we can pick we can pick our zero point of energy so inside inside the well we have zero potential energy of the particle but outside the well we have infinite potential energy and, and if we think about say a ball rolling up a hill and and say the hill is infinitely tall we know that no finite amount of energy can ever can ever push the ball all the way up the hill and so 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 that's our argument for for why the the particle cannot exist here and this isn't this isn't a very realistic situation but it's a but it's a it's a it's a fairly easy situation to solve actually solve the schrodinger equation and see some of the properties of these wave functions and so that's what we're doing in this video. And so already we know what this wave function looks like outside of this outside of this box. For for x is less than zero or x is greater than L. And and, and let's write that down. Psi of x, our wave function as a function of x equals zero for for the cases where x is less than zero or or when x is greater than l and that's just saying that there's zero probability for for the particle to exist outside of this box and so I'll, I'll put this you know where where our mission in this video is to to find the wave functions and so so this is knowledge about the wave function. I'm going to store it in this little red, in this red rectangle, just so we we don't forget about it because we've accomplished part of our mission. And now let's let's move on to the other case where where x or where the where the particle is inside the well, the wave function inside the well. So so inside the well, we say that that the potential energy of the of the of the particle. So this term equals zero, right? This equals zero multiplied by the wave function, whatever it might be is zero. So this this term in the equation goes away. So down below I'm going to rewrite this equation and I'll, I'll just copy and paste it to save some time. There it is. Move it down here where we have some room. So we're left with this differential equation to solve for, for what the wave function looks like inside the box. So our first, our first thing we do will be to take both of these constants and, and get them on the same side, just so we have less to worry about as far as constants go. So I'll now I'll rewrite the equation. I'll divide both sides by this, and, and we'll rewrite it. So we have 2 times m times the energy m is the mass of the particle by the way not sure if I've mentioned that but that's what it is 
divided by h bar squared, and the negative of that, times our wave function. I've accidentally switched to a slightly different purple, but we can manage, I think, is equal to the second derivative with respect to x of our wave function again. So if you watched the video about solving solving the wave function of a classical wave, the, the classical wave equation, in the situation that we, we picked before, you'll, you'll recognize this. This will look very, very similar to what we had before, where we have some constant times the wave function is equal to the second derivative with respect to x of that wave function. And, and without doing a general solution, I'll, I'll just recall in this case that that the the possible solutions for to this this wave equation are the wave functions these wave functions and so sines and cosines are the are the are the possible solutions of this of this wave equation so sine of kx plus cosine of k times x. And I'll include constants in front of these because we don't know how much of this wave function is composed of sines and how much is composed of so of cosines. But so we need to we need to figure these out later. And I've I've included these constants multiplying k because we know that when we take the derivative two times of this 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 constant will come out in front and, and this constant will be related to this other constant. And if we don't put these constants here, when we take two derivatives, we'll just end up with 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 the exact same function again, with a negative sign. Because because they're trig functions, so the, the derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we'll just get the function back with a negative sign and then we'll then that will mean that this constant has to be zero or has to be one. But since we don't necessarily know that, we have to include these extra factors in front of these, in front of our x values, just to take into account that this might be be something different than one. So now let's use our boundary conditions to to try to figure out what these constants are, or find out something about these constants. So our first boundary condition is that at x x is less than zero, we know that the wave function is zero, right? The wave function is zero up to here, and then and then it's allowed to change and do whatever it will inside of this, inside of inside of the box. But at either end it needs to be zero and 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 a lot like the string, the 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 wave function for a matter wave has to be continuous, just like just like the matter or just like the wave function for a wave on a string or, or other types of waves that we've mentioned because if it has two values at one point all of this stuff we're doing kind of starts to break down so so if if this is a good way to analyze things this has to has one have one value and this has to be continuous so so we have the boundary condition that at x equals zero the wave function has to equal zero so if we plug that value x equals 0 into this into this wave function we get sine of 0 and the sine of 0 is 0 so so we don't get any information about this term so so we'll say that psi of 0 equals this whole term goes to 0 so I'll write a 0 here plus b b times the cosine of 0 cosine of 0 and we know that since the cosine of 0 is 1, the only way to make this equal 0, which we know it equals 0, because this is our boundary condition, that psi of 0 equals 0, we know that b has to equal 0. Right? That's the only way to, to make this equation true. So b equals 0. And some more information about what our wave function looks like. So I'll put it in this red box here. And so so now we know that that our wave function has to has to look like a sine function 
in this situation. And now to figure out, we still have to figure out what this k looks like. What are there restrictions on this k that 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 a lot that does this k have to equal certain things for this wave equation to be satisfied? So let's look at our second boundary condition. Just like x has to, or just like the wave function has to equal zero at x equals zero, it also equals zero at the other side of the box at x equals l. So we have psi of l equals zero. Our wave function evaluated at l equals zero. So I'll write this out here: psi of l equals our constant a times the sine the sine of k times l and all of that equals 0 equals 0 and just like before in the in the other video about solving the classical wave function or the classical wave equation we know that that the sine of the sine function equals zero when when its argument equals some multiple of pi. So if, if KL KL must equal KL must equal some multiple of pi, n times pi, or n n can be one, two, three, etc. etc. And then if we follow this, just divide both sides by L, we get that K equals n pi over L. So we have this requirement on K. So this is really just like the other the other time we solved for the, the wave the wave functions of the other situation in the classical classical wave situation. So over here I've I've drawn these 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 wave functions just to just to drive home the analogy to the other the other system that at these these wave functions for matter waves in this situation look just like the the wave functions of the waves on a string and so we have this one bump where sine the sine function goes from sine of 0 to to sine of pi and it goes goes positive and it comes back to 0 when x equals l for the case that n equals 1 and and similarly for n equals 2 it it goes it it goes twice as far through so it goes from sine of 0 to psi, sine of pi to sine of 2 pi. So we see that at least in this situation we have the same the same really the same shape wave functions. So we've made the analogy to the other wave functions of a classical wave but now we can we can think about how when we take the derivative of our wave function We'll actually get k to come out side because of the chain rule. So we can actually make a relationship between k and e and then in the next video I'll I'll solve for e and, and we'll talk about the energies of of the of this system. See you in the next video.